before I go into the two beauty products that I would never ever wear or never ever buy, um, first I wanna kind of go into why. So I think it's super important that you invest in anything that you put on your body, whether it be your hair care, your skin care, your makeup, whatever. Um, and I say that because there's so many products out there that literally have toxic chemicals that you're without realizing absorbing into your body and into your bloodstream. So that's number one. The products that you're putting on your skin, um, whether it be your moisturizer, your foundation, your shampoo, your conditioner, your body lotion, those things are literally being absorbed in your skin into your bloodstream and they can cause health issues and that's nuts, okay? Um, so number two, the effects of the toxins are like actually scary. Um, some cause cancer, you know, some mess with your hormones, some can mess up your thyroid, like it's super crazy and it's actually super deep if you like research it. I was researching all last night and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. This is, like I knew it was deep, um, but I didn't know it was that deep, guys. Um, and so the third thing is, guys, only in America, our FDA does not regulate what ingredients go into our products. Like, literally, um, with the exception of color additives and a few prohibited substances, meaning eight, the FDA doesn't pay attention to what's going into our cosmetics, and that's scary. You know what I mean? And even further, the FDA, um, if a company says they have, like, a, a uh, insider trade secret ingredient they don't have to list that on the package for cosmetics which is really really scary so you do get what you pay for and so I think it's super important you know that you invest in products that are going onto your skin not just because you want to see the results but because literally if not if you're going to a drugstore and you're buying these products with all the ingredients I'm about to talk to you about then literally you're you're literally poisoning yourself and it, it's it's crazy um another fun fact that i thought was pretty crazy was that europe the europe union has banned more than a thousand ingredients from cosmetics united states do you know how many we banned eight yeah okay so that that's the reason that's kind of the the big core reason as to why i'm like i need to go live and i need to you know show everyone and talk to everyone about how crazy this is because i walk into my clients houses all the time and i see the one product i'm going to talk to you guys about and i'm like no and they're like but i love it and i'm like no mm -mm. so i'm gonna help you guys out and i'm gonna kind of tell you two products that are my big no's do not buy these products and replace them immediately so the first product um is actually a product that dermatologists recommend all the time it's annoying to me that they recommend it because it's such a horrible product um as well as like big like literally you probably saw this this product in vogue in in style like it's all over right and the product that i'm talking about is cetaphil yes cetaphil so my reasons for um being against cetaphil because it is marketed and a reason why you know dermatologists do recommend it is because um not many people react to it, right? So a lot of people that have acne or whatever, they want something that's not going to irritate their skin. And that's what Cetaphil does. That's what they market towards. They even market it towards babies, which is just crazy. Because once you hear what's in it, you're just like, really? Um, but so there's only eight ingredients in it too. So that makes you feel like, oh, okay, there's only eight ingredients. It must be healthy for me. But no, guys. First off, there's... Of the eight ingredients, five of them are toxic, right? Literally five. Um, and of the five ingredients that are toxic, three are parabens. And it's it's just so crazy to me how marketing like plays us because I know when I'm buying makeup, I'm like, oh no, no parabens over here. But those same people that are like that, like if I, like literally don't read the back of their skincare labels because they just go with what they see advertised to them. And skincare is like super important because it goes on before your makeup so it's absorbed first it's you know so um definitely there's the three parabens in it which is freaky and 
parabens so what they basically do are they're they're um preservatives right and so a lot of our food have parabens a lot of our makeup skin you see parabens in a lot of stuff and you want to number one have as little of it as possible you know try not to eat foods with it try not to get skincare with it because literally what it does is it disrupts your hormone functions and also can cause ca breast cancer which is nuts, right? Um, and so with Cetaphil, it's, there's three of them in there. So it's like one, two, three. It's like really crazy. Um, and so yeah, number one, parabens are in there. That's my biggest reason why I will never put, I will never buy and I will never put Cetaphil on anyone. And if I'm at one of my client's houses and they hand it to me, I'm like, no, here's some active hydration. Um, and the, the other two are... Propylene glycol, don't quote me if that I said that wrong, but basically it's it both of these ingredients basically help, you know, the product penetrate into your skin, which you'll see a lot of this, a lot of this ingredient in a lot of drugstore brands, whether it be makeup or skincare, which is why I tell all of my clients and I recommend that you guys just don't like literally do not buy drugstore skincare because they all use a lot of the same types of fillers or things instead of you know higher end products that are going to do the same thing but cost them a little bit more so the other one sodium lauryl sulfate and um this is something that you can also see in toothpaste deodorant like you want to stay away from it because both of these products like i say they're penetrate enhancers but they also alter the skin's structure allowing other chemicals to go in deeper and <clears throat> they allow the other chemicals that are in there to go in faster and deeper so it's like all right we already put three parabens in there now we're literally going to have two enhancer two penetration enhancers that are going to push the product into your bloodstream even faster if it wasn't already in there you know what i mean so cetaphil is a huge no-no for me um I, I know it's cheap, you know what I mean? I know it's advertised well. Their PR team is the bomb because literally all of my clients are super high end and I see it all the time in their house. Um, and guys, even their hand soap, like any of their products, I would never use any of them because they all have this. The second product that I would never use um, is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. And when I'm saying the this, I also mean pretty much every drugstore BB cream that's out there. Um, and this one specifically on the on the EWG website, which is like basically an environmental um, website that kind of helps you. You can go on there and you can type in, you know, whatever beauty products that you use. You can type that in and then they'll tell you on a 1 to a 10 how dangerous is it, it is for you. This is a 10, guys. They rated it a 10, aka it shouldn't be in stores, but we live in America and America doesn't regulate our cosmetics, so it's in the store. Um, and so this is marketed to be like a BB cream to help with your fine lines. Um, and it literally on their website, it says our tendon moisturizer is clinically proven to smooth skin's texture and reduce the appearance of fine lines even after you take it off. So they're literally telling you you could put this makeup on when you take it off. It's still going to be in you because literally it goes into your bloodstream and we're going to give you all these poisonous ingredients and push them into your bloodstream. Like, it's crazy. Like, it's literally crazy. And I'm sorry that I'm going on a rant, but like, I just think people need to know because it's literally like my sister and my cousins and my dad all struggle with thyroid issues and like these are things that directly affect those and there's so many things like my sister's detoxing starting monday because literally there's so many products that we don't read the ingredients because we're just so quick to do whatever media is telling us to do and those are the, the same exact products that are hurting us and so i think it's important that we're aware about what is going into our bodies and skincare and makeup are huge especially lip products people think it's okay to go to the drugstore and get a cheapy two dollar lipstick let me tell you your lips absorb your products super quick quicker than your skin so you like buying that two dollar lipstick could cause you literally issues down the line or even immediately 
You know what I mean? Um, and so there's a website, ewg.com or .org. And basically, like I said, you can type in any of your products and you can... Um, when you type in the specific product, it'll let you know all about it. It'll let you know if it's hazardous, why it's hazardous, all of those things. The sad thing is, in America, if someone is injured by a, a cosmetic product, there's no law saying that that company has to then report that to um, the FDA. The law literally says... Yeah, I'll post, I will definitely post the website in the, com in the comments. So our law in America says if your product, if your cosmetic product causes injury, um, it's up to you basically to report it, but we're not going to stalk you or sue you if you don't. It's so crazy. Like we do not regulate like anything when it comes to, to um, cosmetics and it's scary. It's scary because the skin is your largest organ of your body and you're putting these things into your bloodstream. Um, and all for what to put on a red lipstick girl buy you better spend $14 and go to Mac and get you a red lipstick girl. Um, <laughs> but so yes, yeah, sorry for my rant, but not sorry because I'm probably helping you not get sick. You're welcome. Um, also as a free gift, I am going to post a link below. If you'd like to do a skin consultation with myself, I am gifting only in March a 10 minute video consultation where I'll kind of go through your makeup bag and your skincare with you um, and help you replace some products because it's not about like, oh my gosh, now I want to like binge get rid of all of the products in my house. It's more so like start with three every month, get rid of three and replace, get rid of three and replace. That's how I'm becoming vegan. I've been adding and eliminating, adding and eliminating, and that's how it's going to be sustainable. I think it's super like way past important to do these things because guys, cancer is real. Like I know we all know someone who, you know, you lost to cancer and it's, it's freaking real. So if you can like prevent that by upgrading your skincare and your makeup and your shampoo, I highly suggest doing that. All right. Now that I'm done my rant, I hope you guys love my extensions because I do. I'm so excited I finally took the time to straighten my hair and put them in. Um, and I'm going to comment below with the website that I keep referring to. It's a super informal, informa <laughs> informal, super informational website that will help you a ton to figure out kind of, um, thank you, that will help you kind of figure out, you know, if the products that you use at home are toxic. And then also I'm going to post a link for you guys to schedule your skincare consult. All right. I got to go be a bomb mom and pick up my daughter from school. So bye.